Music means to me is, is love and life. I always uh, feel very happy when I get to share music. DJ makes me feel uh, that I have a purpose in life. It's always something of which I is, is in some ways been gifted to me. I feel blessed and honoured that I have, I'm in a position that I'm able to give you something from my own soul that, that I really enjoy. I really like working with the, the players as instruments. They're my instruments to, to perform from. And I utilise them very well in the sense of what I make rhythms from, whether you have a, a drum loop, a bass line loop, whether you have the next record coming up, or whether you, you just trigger the fourth player. The layout and the feel. These two things are really important to how you work the CDJ and how robust it is based on how you handle the machines. What I really like about it that because of the layout is so so simplified in the end of the day that you're not scared to reach for a you know, beat jump or to go into the loop you know, from four to eight beats and um, it almost feels like a part of the furniture when you play with these new machines and uh, what I really like about them is that they, they seem to be now a staple diet on, on any DJ's kind of uh, wish list to, to perform from. The progression of the player has become more simplified so you can actually feel more confident in your ability to play. Now I feel that with Pioneer DJ, been listening to other DJs, listening to what people would like to see happen for the development of the play into the future based on how you actually work these players now. Um, I really like the idea that they've, they've gone to another step and to still feel that at the end of the day it's important that when you are working the CDJ that it, it emulates what a turntable is about. I had a small hand in, in having an idea of what I would like to see happen. Uh, the development has just been phenomenal to see where we are now. What I like about LinkQ is that you actually get to play the track before you load it when before you used to load the record to find out where the record was going. Um, so therefore, if you loaded the record, it would also tell you that you've played that record, whether you loaded it for, for a preview or not. Um, and that's quite nice because sometimes if you didn't want to use that record at a particular time, that meant that that record is still available to play. But before, if it was already loaded, it would tell you that you've already played it and you would miss that record. So it's an absolute godsend. <laughs> The feature I'm most excited about is the beat jump feature. I kind of like the idea that you, you can go from four beats all the way up to 64 beat jump, and then you can kind of go backwards or forwards. You can shorten the track down yourself, or you can lengthen the track down by what you want. And that's quite exciting because you can always lengthen the breakdown or shorten the breakdown instantly, and, and, it, and it lands directly on quantize, so you're not missing any beats, you're not feeling that it's gonna come back on a miscue, um, it's right there on the money. I really like the idea of the key sync, so you can actually put in key the, the track that you're gonna be playing on the next track. So no matter what you do now, you can actually have all your music in key, one way or another, and I'm sure down the line, you're gonna get some clever DJs that are gonna use that for other applications. Thank you.